Hal was a client of ours, had been a client of Rosie's from the beginning. And uh, in fact, when Rosie died in 1969, Hal was the one who gave the eulogy at his funeral, and he was very eloquent, and, and I'm, I'm devoted to him. Anyway, Hal wrote a script called Julia, and he gave it to me. And it wasn't until the middle of the script that you found out that this wonderful nurse was black. Now, black people had at that time played very insignificant roles in films and television. They were mostly comics or servants. And this girl, this nurse, was terrific at what she did, was very attractive, was very much a person. <coughs> Excuse me. It was a very well-written script. And at that time, the head of NBC was Mort Werner. And I gave the script to Mort. <coughs> Excuse me. And I said to him, be sure to read the whole script. I didn't tell him she was black. But I said, be sure to read the whole thing. And he did, and he loved it. And, he, and it was not someone saying to me, oh, this is impossible, we can't do it, she's black. Nothing like that. He loved it. And in the end, and Hal, of course, was, was very pleased, and, and he should have been, because he had written a really good script. And in the end, they cast Diane Carroll. I didn't have much to do with that, but I certainly was a little bit involved, and I liked her a lot. I mean, as an actress, I thought she was perfect, perfect. She was attractive, and she was authoritative, and she could play this. And in the end, it became a very important show uh, for a woman uh, who was black to be playing a part where she had such authority and such real knowledge and was good at her job and terrific dame.